We have been talking about paper clutter all week long on the Clutter Free January Mega Playlist. I'll leave a link below. A couple days ago, I took you on a tour of the categories of paper that I keep organized. This video, I wanna talk about some tips that I have used over the last year to manage paper clutter on an ongoing basis because there's no way it's not gonna be in your life. I mean, you just get junk mail, you have forms, you have whatever that just is in your life and needs organization. Categorize and have one spot for all your sorted keep papers and having a system with file folders, an easy way to get to that paper, easy way to find that. And so that means that once it's come into your house, you have to process it. Process it. Is it a keep paper? Is it a short term paper that I'm probably going to shred or throw away in a few months? If it's a keep paper, having all those keep long term papers in one spot has really made it very easy for me to find paperwork over the last year. The second thing that's been successful for me in managing paper clutter has been categorization. So all of our taxes are in one spot in the file bin at the front. All of our paperwork for homes, for insurance, for cars, anything that I want to keep, it's all categorized. So I have long term papers, I have all of my work papers together, I have all my short term papers together, all my bills paperwork, which is really short term for us. All of that is together. All of medical is together. All of sentimental is together in one spot, at least from what I've unpacked so far. <laughs> Number three is space and grace. I return to this often where I have to give myself grace for what is happening in our lives in this phase of life. I have to give myself the space to be able to, the physical space to be able to figure something out, figure out paperwork, process stuff, or just the mental space to be able to do something. And having the ability to be lazy about paper sometimes because life just gets in the way, it gets busy, or you just don't feel like dealing with it on a daily or weekly basis. So having a paper system in place allows for you to be lazy and make it okay to be lazy. It's okay to have a pile of papers on the counter. As long as all your papers are in one spot, you'll be able to find what you're looking for. And then when you're motivated, you just process that stack and it's gone from your life. The fourth tip I have is to have the right tools in your arsenal of paper management. So for me, I have a shredder, I have a file bin, I have file folders, I have a label maker, I have a file, um, a fireproof, waterproof document bag for all of our life documents. I have a, I have the right tools in my house that makes it possible for me to manage paper on an ongoing basis and that it doesn't become the mountain that it was a year ago. <laughs> the fifth tip is to deal with mail at the trash can because most of what we get in our mailbox belongs in the recycle bin anyway. I really wish there was a way to stop the inbound junk mail. I have researched this. I, I've looked at ways to do this. They don't work. You still get all the circulars and the junk mails and the ads. What ways do you deal with paper clutter on an ongoing basis? Do you have categories all throughout your house? Do you have it all in one location? Do you try to minimize all your paper and scan it in? I would like to be that person. I'm just not that person in this phase of my life. I can't spend hours scanning in all of these documents when I'm still working on other things in our house. I'm still decluttering all of the boxes in our basement. We are thinking about moving this summer. There's a, there's a lot of other things that are taking up my brain power and my time, and I, I can't sit here and properly scan documents. So for me, I, I need a way to keep paper in my life at this time. And being realistic about that means that I know I need the right tools and the systems in place to be able to manage paper so it doesn't get overwhelming again in my life. And looking back on a year ago, it was out of control. It was everywhere. I could find nothing that I needed to find. And now I know exactly where things are. We have far less paper than we did a year ago. We still have more than I'd like, but I think that's my whole journey is figuring out my enough. And right now my enough includes quite a bit of paper. Until I figure out a way to find time to scan and be more digital, our, our life just includes paper and that's okay. 
I don't have to be a minimalist in everything. And that's why I am a minimalish minimalist, because it's not about the numbers. It's about what works for me in my life and my family and my house. Thanks for watching. Please click subscribe and join our family here online. And we support each other with kindness in the comments.